Tracing objects is very easy in Carveco, providing you follow a few simple rules. For the easiest tracing, use a black and white image. A colour image can be used, but you will have to do a few more operations. A full colour photograph will not work using this method because the software has to trace around one colour and you will not be able to merge the colours in a photograph in order to pick the colour to trace around. In this example, I have imported a black and white image. To trace around this, I am going to use a tool called the Bitmap to Vector tool, which is located on the top toolbar. This tool traces around one colour to give an outline. Before you select Create Vectors, it is very important that you reduce the colours because this image still has 256 colours in it. If you do not reduce the colours, the Bitmap to Vector tool will create the vectors using the primary colour, which in this case is a shade of black. If I drop the transparency of the image down, you can see that it has only created vectors around the areas that have this colour and it's not given the correct result. In order to do this properly, the colours need to be merged into one colour to trace around and this is done by selecting to reduce the colours. This is a black and white image, so the colours can be merged down to two colours, which leaves just black and white. Left click the black colour and it will become the primary colour. When Create Vectors is selected, it will create the vectors correctly and not follow the jagged edges of the image as previously. If I zoom in on part of the eye, you can see that there is a section of the image where the vector has not been created. This is because of the speckle size. The speckle size is like a pixel tolerance. The part of the image that is missing is one pixel. And as this is set to two pixels, when the vectors are generated, it is ignoring this section. This would need to be set to zero, so it is less than one in order to produce a vector around the pixel. This can also work to eliminate vectors when creating for certain areas. In this instance, I'm not sure how many pixels are in the larger two areas of the image, so I will set that to five and try to create the vectors. I need to make it even higher, so let's try 10. And here you can see that the vectors have not been created for the areas above the main section. The smoothness section affects how smooth the vectors are going to be. The lower the value, the more angular and straight the lines that are produced. The higher, the smoother the lines. 99% of the time, I tend to leave these settings at a speckle size of 2 and a smoothness of 75. This is the default values and it is the optimum setting. To trace around colour images, the same process is used, but there are a few extra steps that are needed in order to get the best results. Again, select the Bitmap to Vector tool and reduce the colours. This time though, if I bring it down to two colours, the colours will not merge properly. In this case, what needs to be done is to bring the colour back into the image. So coming back to four colours will bring all of the colours back. The colours are purple, orange, blue and black. If I just wanted to create vectors around the logo, I could select the black colour and create vectors. But what I can also do is select individual colours to create vectors around. 
I'm going to bring it back up to five colors in order to show you how to blend colors together. In this example, there is an ellipse below the logo in another shade of black. To blend them together, select the color that you want to keep as the primary color by left clicking and then select the secondary color, the one that you want to change by right clicking on it. The colors can then be linked together to create one color by selecting the very small chain icon, which is located on the top right of the primary and secondary colors. The two colors will then have a line going between them to denote that they are linked. Linked colors can be unlinked if needed by right clicking on the colors and resetting the links. To create vectors for this, select the purple as the primary color and select create vectors. Do the same for the orange and the blue, which will give the logo vectors.